6.49 is the time, and uh, we're going to go in-depth now. Summer's hot weather is finally here in the Northwest, and with that heat comes health concerns, especially for people with epilepsy. Joining us now is Dr. Pankaj Gore. Dr. Gore, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for joining us. Now, let's talk a little bit about this. Can the heat, like we've had recently, trigger epileptic seizures? Well, heat is not a primary trigger for epilepsy, but certainly environmental changes are. So extreme heat leading to heat stroke, dehydration, uh, lack of sleep can trigger seizures, changes in lighting such as strobe lights, even loud sounds for some patients. Well, if you have epilepsy, then what's your advice about this hot weather? I would say you know, stay well hydrated, keep cool in the shade, uh, and even indoors on extremely hot days. So what is actually happening to the brain that causes the seizure during epilepsy? Is it like shorting out or something? How does it work? Yeah, a seizure is basically uncontrolled electrical activity of the brain that arises from any sort of irritation. So that can be from a trauma or tumor or uh, uh, sometimes specific causes aren't identified. You know, when people picture a seizure, I think a lot of times they think somebody falling on the ground, the body convulsing, shaking, the muscles seizing up. Is that the typical scenario for something like this, or can it be different in, in different people? Uh, some people can have this convulsive type, but others can simply have unusual behavior or sensations. For example, sitting bank- blankly, smacking lips, nonsensical speech, uh, wandering behavior, or even unusual smells or tastes can occur. So is there a treatment, like is there surgery, or do you have to go that route always? Uh, There can be. It really depends on the kind of seizure. The first line is always medical therapy. Uh, If this fails, then some patients who have lesions on their uh, brain that are amenable to surgery can have surgery. And then there are other options, such as implantable stimulators. Uh, And recently, there's been an increase even in uh, research involving uh, dietary treatments for epilepsy. Do a lot of people have epilepsy? Uh, it's fairly common, about, uh, you know, one out of ten people have a seizure at some time in their life, and uh, one out of a hundred get the diagnosis of epilepsy, meaning recurrent seizures. All right. Well, thanks for joining us this morning, Doctor. Oh, it's my pleasure. Dr. Pankaj Gore here on FM News 101.